Being told I had cancer again was just a surreal experience. I just could not believe that this was happening to me again. I really thought that one day the phone was going to ring and the GP was going to say, oh, sorry, bad mistake. But no, that didn't happen. I had the big C and that's past tense now. I don't have it anymore. It's now two full years since my cancer and back into things as much as I was before. You know, I'm playing sport, seeing my friends. It's great. You know, I am taking more time to smell the roses. Not that there's many roses in Longreach, but you know, life's great. I'm so lucky. You know, I get to actually wake up every day. I do get a sick feeling in my stomach if I feel a pain or, you know, get a new bump or something. I was thinking about my last days of radiotherapy and Samantha wanted to celebrate, but I didn't really want to. I was a bit scared. I can understand she wanted to celebrate, to get home, get back to normal, you know, whatever normal was going to be. And I could understand that. But she wasn't frightened, but I was. I was scared about going home. I was used to the hospitals and the staff and, you know, just the security of everyone being around me. What was it going to be like when I went home? I was scared.